Hi, my name's Rob Matthews. I'm a writer and project manager at Eurocom Entertainment Software, the developers of GoldenEye Reloaded. In the previous video diary, set in the facility level, we demonstrated some of the stealth gameplay featured in GoldenEye Reloaded. In this video, we're going to show a section of the game that is more action-based. Bond to MI6, do you read me? Touching back to a moment from the original film, General Oromov has just fired the GoldenEye satellite at the Severnaya complex to cover his tracks. But instead of viewing that event in the third person, we actually live through it and experience the carnage and chaos through Bond's eyes. Now that Bond has regained consciousness, we need to push forward and find a way up to the Severnaya complex so that we can find out what General Oromov is really up to. The EMP blast from the Golden Ice satellite has knocked out all of the electrical items in the area, so the Russian soldiers are in a state of confusion. So far, we have remained undetected by playing stealthily. If the player is seen or chooses a non-silenced weapon, then the chances are they will get into an all-out firefight with the enemy. The use of music in GoldenEye Reloaded is a critical component in delivering an immersive gameplay experience. The audio team at Eurocom collaborated with composers David Arnold and Kevin Piner to implement a carefully crafted interactive score that underlines and complements the action taking place. It's worth noting that if you wanted to, you could play through this section of the game in a similar manner to that demonstrated in the previous video, where we use stealth, alternate routes and silent takedowns to progress forward without raising the alarm. So right now, we're going to pass through the wreckage of one of the jets that we saw crash moments earlier. We're going to take down the soldiers ahead silently so that we don't get caught in a big firefight again. As you can see from the game radar in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, the area ahead is swarming with more Russian soldiers. Along with the threat markers in the hood, we can use this information to plan our strategy. White threat markers indicate enemies that are alerted to your presence. Red markers indicate that you are taking damage and the direction that it is coming from. The 
Super 7 higher level is a great way of really showing off the brand new engine that our team at Eurocom developed for GoldenEye Reloaded. It allows us to deliver stunning high definition visuals running at a smooth 60 frames a second. It really immerses the player into the world of Bond. So now the stakes are really going to increase for Bond. Ahead of us there is a full scale battle taking place between the Russian soldiers who were guarding Savanaya and General Oromov's mercenaries who are now in control of the complex. The warring factions will react to Bond and engage him in combat if they spot him or if Bond fires upon them. Here we see some Russian soldiers running into the battle. We're going to follow them, and then on the horizon, we now see the radar dishes of the Seven Eye Complex. We're in the thick of the battle now between the Russian soldiers, who are trying to regain control of the Seven Eye facility from General Oromov's mercenaries. We're going to wrap this video diary up now. Thank you for watching and stay in tune for our next video that will showcase the MI6 Ops game mode.